Hello and welcome to the Christian YouTuber. I am Matthew Corey, the Christian YouTuber. Also ex-Satanist, ex-Irish mobster, saved by grace. And now I'm a Christian author and evangelist and you can get all my books on Amazon.com. Just search Matthew Corey and Amazon.com and they'll come up. And you can get my book from hell to heaven about how I was an Irish mobster and Satanist who came to Christ uh, from Walmart.com or Amazon.com. I'll put a link in the description to that as well and it's really good read. I think you'll like it. But uh, yeah, today I just wanted to talk about and give you this word from the Lord and word of encouragement to fear not because God is with you. And, you know, isn't that something that we all deal with a lot of times? You know, we deal with fear in our lives and fear of other people, fear of what people think of us, fear of man, fear of um, what's going to happen to us, fear of the future. And I want to give us a few verses and let's look at those and see what they have to say about God being with us and about fear. So let's look at the first verse here in just a moment. So this is the first verse here and I'm going to read them off my notes on my phone. And the first verse is Isaiah 41.10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So, God is saying that he's going to uphold us. You know, if we're Christians, if we've accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior, the Lord is going to be there and he's going to uphold us with the hand, with the right hand of his righteousness. He's going to save us. He's going to be there to protect us, you know, whenever we're in times of trouble. You know, there's all kinds of verses in the Bible that talk about the Lord delivering us, you know, delivering the righteous man and delivering us out of troubles. You know, one of my favorite verses is the verse that says that the righteous man has many troubles, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. And that's, I mean, that's an incredible verse. So let's look at the next verse of scripture and see what it has to say. And this is the next verse of scripture. It's Psalms 34, 4. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. So the Lord, you seek the Lord and you seek him out and he'll deliver you from all your fears. That's what this verse is saying. You know, all we have to do is just seek the Lord out, you know, and we have to walk a righteous life. God wants us to walk a righteous life following him, doing what he says for us to do in the scriptures, following his commandments. And that's the thing, and that's what a lot of people don't want to do is they don't want to give their life fully to the Lord. But when we fully give our life to the Lord, these promises come into play. And as we see from this verse, the Lord delivers us from all of our troubles, from all of our problems and things that we're going through. And, um, you know, it may take a little while sometimes. It may, it may, it's not always in our timing, but the Lord will ultimately deliver us. And even for people who have, you know, chronic illnesses and things like that, the Lord is going to deliver them by taking them to heaven to be with him. You know, so the Lord promises, he will do what he promises. And he promises to deliver us. So let's look at the last verse of scripture and see what it has to say. And the last verse of scripture is 1 John 4, 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So we are overcomers. We have overcome the world. We have overcome all these problems and issues in our lives because we are of God. You know, it says, ye are of God, little children, and we have overcome the world, and Jesus has overcome the world, and we're overcomers through him. So we always need to remember that, and remember whenever we're going through a difficult time or through some kind of trial or struggle in our lives, that God's going to be there for us, and he's going to be there to take care of it, and he's going to deliver us from the hand of Satan, from the evil one, and sometimes it takes spiritual warfare. A lot of us are in spiritual battles of spiritual warfare when it comes to dealing with anxiety and fear and all these things that we deal with in our lives. So let's remember these verses and remember that God is with us and if God is for us, who can be against us is what the scripture says. So let's remember that and remember that God is going to deliver us and we have his promise of deliverance 
as his child when we're walking with him and when we're walking in righteousness before him. So that's all I had for you for today, but I hope you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you could. That would really help the channel and help the ministry. And thank you so much if you have subscribed. And I look forward to seeing you next time with uh, more words of encouragement, words from the Lord, and answers from the Bible on the Christian YouTuber.